So today's topic, guys, is, um, you know, we're going to talk about uh, Trump potentially being charged um, for, you know, as you guys know, they did. I, you know what? Should we do a quick timeline of events for the people? Yeah, let's do it like a review, review, a little yeah. review. Because some so, people may, I, mean, I don't know where you've been living. Maybe you're under a rock, but maybe you uh, haven't been paying attention. But this thing's been going on for the past couple of months. But let's, yeah, let's, let's so, do a little breakdown. Yeah, so quick recap, and uh, Andrew, please fill in any gaps that I may miss. But long story yeah. short for y'all, what happened is uh, the FBI went ahead and did a search warrant, executed a search warrant on Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence resort up there in Palm Beach County, Florida. Um, the FBI out of the Washington field office ran, ran the investigation. They went, they, uh, they, they, you know, they submitted, so basically they submitted an application for a search warrant. In an application of a search warrant, you have to put something together called an affidavit, guys. And this affidavit, I'll show you guys real quick. What it is real fast, it's this document right here, which I'm going to pull up for you guys. Where the hell did I put it? No, no, my God, it got closed. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this for y'all before I share a screen. And an affidavit, guys, is basically sworn, you know, testimony, essentially, that, hey, you know, I... You know, here's my affidavit, right? As you can see, this is the FBI agent right here, um, which they redacted his name, right? Actually, let me enlarge it for you guys so you guys can see it. Right. And this outlines all the probable cause that they have to go ahead and search Trump's house. You guys can see this affidavit has a bunch of redactions that me and Andrew broke this down in detail on another episode that we did where we actually went ahead, read through the probable cause, broke down what was behind more than likely all these redactions that you guys can see here. But yep. this thing was filed along with us in the search warrant application to search his home. And in the home, they found a bunch of classified documents, okay, that pertain to a bunch of national defense information, etc. cetera. Um, and now that the FBI has this information, um, Trump has been filing some, some motions uh, to go ahead and get the reviewing of the classified documents pretty much halted through the use of a um, special master, if I'm not mistaken. Uh Andrew, can you explain, I guess, a little bit of that and uh, yeah. if anything else I may have missed there? So the let, yeah, let me get into what, what a special master is. A special master can, can be appointed to do anything a judge wants them to do. So a special master is somebody who literally is given authority over a specific part of the trial. In this case, in this specific case, in the Trump case, uh, they're given authority to decide what is privileged and not privileged. And there's actually two types of privilege that they're going to be reviewing. The first type is attorney-client privilege. Attorney-client privilege, very straightforward. I'm an attorney. If I have a client, I'm communicating with them. That's protected. That is one of the strongest privileges out there, period, is attorney-client privilege. So if it's in a communication between an attorney and their client, that is attorney-client privilege. Now, the other privilege is executive privilege. That's the privilege you get as a president, right? Now, that one is one that's never been looked at before. There's zero case precedent on it. So anybody, anybody out there who's a legal scholar who says they know exactly what's going to happen regarding executive privilege, they are full of shit because there is this much goose egg. There's nothing in terms of actual case precedent on what is going to qualify in this instance as executive privilege versus non-executive privilege. So that special master is going to be doing that specific job. 